If you're looking to build the best basics in your wardrobe, this video is for you. In today's video, I'm covering my tried and true undergarment favorites. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video here in my Build a Wardrobe You Love series. If you're interested in building your dream wardrobe, definitely check out the playlist. I will link it down below. In this series, I'm covering everything you need to know about building a wardrobe from building the best essentials, when to save and splurge, how to declutter your closet. I'm covering it all throughout the year in this series. So if you're into that type of content and fashion in general, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to all of my tried and true undergarment favorites. So I'm going to be covering my go-to underwear, bras, shapewear, socks, tank tops, pretty much anything that I would consider a basic. I'm going to be sharing all my favorites today. First, let's start with underwear. I think every wardrobe needs two different kinds of underwear. The first one being a seamless thong. I have pretty much transitioned my entire thong wardrobe, as funny as that sounds, to these seamless thongs. They are extremely comfortable, pretty much seamless under anything that I've tried them with. They don't fit too tight. They don't ever like dig in. I have both smalls and mediums and both fit great. So I feel like overall they have a very forgiving fit. They come in a bunch of different colors. I pretty much always go with the naked 2.0 color. And then if you want to get a black or something when you're on your period, definitely consider like a skin tone color and then a black for everyday wear. I do have a 10% off code on that underwear. And honestly, a lot of the pieces that I'm mentioning, if you do you want to shop anything at Spanx? This video isn't sponsored by them, but I have worked with them in the past and I have a promo code, which is Amanda John X Spanx for 10% off anything there. The other essential is a comfortable everyday brief. I feel like I reach for these the most, whereas like, you know, in college, all I wore was thongs. Honestly, I used to love the hanky panky thongs, but after trying the Spanx ones, I could not stand the like lace material. I just found them to be irritating, which is crazy because that used to be all I wore and those are very expensive. Anyway, now I definitely reach for a comfortable brief for everyday wear. And last year I discovered this particular pair and I have pretty much lived in these every single day. Very comfortable. They're also pretty seamless. They are a little bit thinner and these are essentially a one size fits most. So they're very stretchy. I will say I did notice a difference between last year's fit and this year's fit. This year seemed to be a little bit tighter. They still stretch, but just something that I noticed personally. So these are definitely my favorite everyday brief and I also sleep in these every night. And then I wasn't sure if I should include this as underwear or as shapewear because it's definitely technically both, but I think this is also a great item to consider for every woman building their undergarment wardrobe. This is also from Spanx and it's a high-waisted shapewear pair of briefs. So if you're looking for like a more everyday type of shapewear, this would be a good one to consider. And I reach for these if I have like tighter fitting pieces where I don't want to wear like the full on short, or maybe if the length of those is too long for the dress, that is when I typically reach for these. These are also great if you're looking for a little extra support postpartum. Definitely appreciated these during that time. Also like any time of the month or anytime I'm really feeling a little extra bloated, I'm especially thankful to have those. So I guess now we're moving into shapewear and I think every woman definitely needs a pair of shapewear. It may not be something that you reach for every single day, but you will definitely appreciate when you need it and you have it ready to go. It makes such a big difference having the right shapewear and I've tried a lot of different styles. Some are extremely compressive and you know not as comfortable but they look great and then some are maybe like not as compressive as, as you would like so there could be some trial and error depending on what exactly you're looking for. But I have found that overall the high core Spanx shorts are definitely like my go-to for any situation. When I first got these, it was a lot of work to get them on. If I'm being honest, I didn't think that they were going to go over the booty. Like I had to shimmy into them. And after doing that, like that one time, I haven't found that to be the case ever since, but they are definitely 
really compressive. I wouldn't say they're like uncomfortable, but obviously you know that they're there. And I do have a before and after wearing these in a previous video. I'll have to try to find the clips of that because you can really see the difference. And having the right shapewear is not only going to make your clothes look better, which is great, but you're going to feel so confident wearing those pieces, knowing that you are like snatched and looking good in them. When shopping for shapewear, I would say one thing to definitely keep in mind is the length of the shorts if you're going for one with shorts. I find that the shorter ones do roll up a little bit. So definitely something to consider if you're wearing them with pants. That is much more no noticeable than if you're wearing them with a dress. So if you're having that issue, find something that is a mid-thigh length but you obviously don't want it to be too long to where it shows underneath the dress. Next basic is a good old everyday tank. These are things that you can layer under pretty much anything all year round at work, under sweaters. They are super soft and comfortable. This one's very stretchy. I discovered these this year in the Nordstrom sale and I have a couple different colors. They have a lot of different like skin tone colors. They are very stretchy, but they still provide like I would say a good like everyday compression. I definitely feel like it helps smooth things out a little bit more, but I wouldn't say this is like a shapewear piece. It's definitely more of an everyday tank top. All right, slips are another thing that I get asked about often, and I have two that I think are absolutely must-haves. And really, I think you only need one, maybe two of these in your wardrobe. So the first is a neutral slip dress. So this one is pretty affordable from Jockey and the material is so soft. So these are definitely great to reach for if you have a sheer dress. And I also really like to switch them out. Like if a dress comes with a layering piece underneath, I like to cut that out and wear this one instead because often it's much more comfortable and it looks a little bit nicer. So just because a dress comes with a slip doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option because I definitely prefer this one underneath. Again, the one thing to keep in mind is the length. So if you're petite or taller, this one I feel like is a little bit longer. If I'm wearing a really short dress, I find that I can't go with this one and I go with this option instead. So this is a skirt slip, which I would say I use the most often, even if I'm wearing a dress that is potentially sheer, I find that the top may not be sheer, but the bottom, I never like for my legs to like show through because I feel like that's just like, someone's gonna be like, oh gosh, is her dress see-through and kind of assume the worst and look away. So that's when I reached for this and it's really comfortable. It's pretty much the same material as the slip dress. And these are definitely something that you just always wanna have on hand. So if you don't have those, definitely recommend. Let's talk about socks and this definitely depends on your lifestyle and what you need. But my favorite walking sock are these from Features. I have turned like my family, Tim's family, Tim onto these socks. These are like all of our favorites. They never like fall down. They have a little bit of padding on the heel so you, I never have to worry about blisters. So these aren't necessarily a no-show sock because they do come up and you see that there. But with like running and walking, I get so annoyed if a sock is rolling down the heel and you don't have to worry about that with these. They're really well made. Um, they come with like a left and a right foot. And it's so funny because if I put these on the wrong feet, I can immediately tell that like something's off. So I think that's funny because I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming like maybe it's stitched a little bit differently. Either way, these are my favorite walking and running socks. If you need a good ballet flat, these are my personal favorite. This I bought like forever ago. I have a bunch of pairs of these, but I never ended up opening them because I used to wear these all the time when I worked, like with all my flats, but then I just didn't need them anymore. Um, I will say these are my go-to if I need like a no-show sock with a booty, for example. Anytime I wear these booties, I get asked about what type of socks I wear with them. So for everyday wear, for the most part, I would say I wear these without a sock. But if I'm going to be out walking a ton, then I do want to wear a sock just to prevent blisters. And this is the one that I'll wear. And you don't have to worry about it showing and it protects, you know, Pretty much I only have to worry about my pinky toes getting blisters and these prevent them. 
They are extremely soft. They feel like great quality. So they do have like a rubber gripper on the heel to help prevent them from slipping all the time. I wouldn't say they like have never slipped, you know, I occasionally have to fix them, but overall they are a great, great fit. And I don't find that I'm constantly having to fix them. All right, moving into bras. And this is definitely where we're going to spend the most time. And if you are new here to my channel, shopping for bras, I do have a bra 101 video that I've done here on my channel. So I will link that down below. I talk about sizing, how to wash them, when to replace them, all of the things that you need. I do first want to mention if you're looking for an adhesive bra, my favorite one is from Target. It's really affordable and you'd be surprised how many times you can wear it. Um, I pretty much solely wore those adhesive bras before I got pregnant. Now that's not necessarily working for my current lifestyle. I need a little more lift and I'm still breastfeeding, so I'm not gonna wear a sticky bra. Anyway, if you're looking for a good one, that's definitely the one I would recommend. And then on that same note, I did wanna mention these. I don't talk about these a ton because I'm honestly not wearing them a lot right now, but this is another option. So these are just little nipple covers. So these are like undetectable under top. So depending on what you're wearing, these would be a good option if you have like something thinner and you're obviously not wanting your nipple to come through or you don't have to worry about like the air conditioning coming on, you can just pop these on. I actually have worn these um, for spray tans while I have been breastfeeding, which I feel like is useful to know if you're curious. Um, I just don't like to get spray tan on that area. So I still kind of use these, just not as much as I used to. These are a really great nipple cover if you're on the market and they are pretty affordable on Amazon. All right, first let's talk about bralettes and these are definitely what I would say I wear the most since I do work at home. I wear these around the house. I sleep in these as well. So the first one I wanna mention is the Bralalluya from Spanx. And this is the one that I reach for if I want a little more support. So I would wear this one out of the house it's a little bit more compressive, a little more supportive than a typical bralette. I like the padding. These don't have like little holes to open up, so I've never honestly had any issues with having to fix the pads in these. Although I did see this little tool, by the way, I need to like share this in like an Amazon video. But they make this little clip to put the bra pads in your bras a little bit easier. So I thought that was genius. I'll link it down below. Um, Hopefully you can visualize what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is my favorite like supportive bralette. And these do run pretty small. So I actually wear a large in these. And then the other bralette is like an everyday super comfortable bra. This one is seamless under tops. It's great to wear under like white basics even. It's pretty undetectable. And these are definitely what I prefer to sleep in. They are so comfortable. They have a couple different like variations of this. They have ones with a little more lift. They have like more of a triangle bra, which didn't work for me personally. Um, so these are really great and they do have a little bit more of an affordable line at Target as well. So I will link both options below. As far as my personal favorite everyday bra, I love this one from Spanx. I love the front clasp. It just is so much easier to get off and on because I have to put, I have to like clasp it in the front and then like turn it around. And with this, it's just so much easier. And this has never like loosened or like opened up on its own. So it is very secure. And then the straps are just like the um, bralette and the sides are also just like the bralette. So it's really comfortable, seamless as well. I like that the straps are a little bit thicker. The only negative to this bra that I would say is you can't adjust the straps as this eventually stretches out, which it's a stretchy, you know, elastic material. So over time it will do that. So you might have to replace them a little bit sooner, but I've been wearing this one pretty much nonstop since February and the straps and everything still fits really great. This one does have a thin wire underneath, but I haven't been uncomfortable by it. I feel like it sits a little bit lower and doesn't dig into my sternum. So personally, I do find that this one's very comfortable for everyday wear. I also have good luck with the Soma bras. That's actually what I'm wearing today. They came out with like a new 
like it adjusts with you. So I thought that was a really cool concept. Like if you are pregnant or even like day to day, you can change sizes a little bit. And so this cup actually adjusts a little bit with you and has a little bit of stretch to it. And this one fits really well. It's like super flat across the top and the straps fit really well as well. Well, 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 <laughs> this one does also have a wire underneath, but again, I don't find that it's digging in because it's sitting below where my sternum sticks out, which is really like where it's an issue. If it comes up too high, it like digs in there. Not a fan of that, which who is? So yeah, I would say Soma and Spanx are both my go-to like undergarment brands. Um, so I'll link the Soma bras that I have down below including this new one that they just came out with that I am wearing today. For strapless bras, I have two to share with you. The first one being this one from Soma. So this is a completely wireless strapless bra, which is nearly impossible to find. I was on the hunt for one forever and I feel like all of them that are labeled as like a wireless strapless bra are more like a bralette. Like they don't look like a bra, you know? So this one is an actual bra, completely wired. The inside has like a little bit of a sticky material to keep it in place. And then the strap is thicker. So you have four hooks here just for that added support. So it definitely stays put. I haven't had any issues with having to like pull this one up. Um, I will say sizes go very quickly on this. So I feel like this is like a very popular item because I have just finally got my hands on my size and I have been eyeing this for a long time. Um, but they have two colors in this, the black and the brown. With that bra, I got my normal size, which is a 36C at the moment. And I wish that I had sized down in the band because um, I have to wear it on the closest hook. So I know that I'm not gonna get as long of wear out of it because when you get a bra, ideally you wanna hook it on the last hook and then as it stretches out, you move the hook inward so you can wear it a little bit longer. So I would say band wise, this runs a little bit big. And then the other strapless bra, this is the one that I wear the most often under our, like every single try on haul. I'm pretty much always wearing the strapless bra. It is this one and this is called an invisible strapless bra because it is very, why do I keep putting it on me? Like, I don't know. Um, but this one is very seamless against the body. It does also have wires, but it sits a little bit lower. So I don't have, you know, issues with this. Obviously like at the end of a long day, I will be thankful to take it off. But I've had some wired bras that are just horrible. I think, I think that's honestly the war coal strapless bra that everyone raves about when I wear that one I get like indentions in my skin it's just like digging in maybe I'm wearing the wrong size I don't know but this one I have not had that issue with the material is so nice this is from the same brand as the underwear that I love and then on the sides here it has like a little bit of a silicone sticky material again to keep it nice and in place those are all of the undergarments that i swear by and think every woman needs hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye